guys, um, welcome back to my channel. I am here today because I'm super excited. I got home from work this afternoon and in the mail was my Kaleidos Makeup Futurism Collection. So I was so excited. Um, it arrived really quickly. So I ordered it last week. Yeah, last week. And um, they dispatched it on the same day that I ordered it and um, it arrived pretty quickly to Australia. So it comes in this nice um, outer packaging and when you open it up, you get a nice little card tied in here that says a message from the future. And it says, thank you so much for your purchase. This package has traveled a great distance through time and space to reach you. Now the future is in your hands. The rest is up to you. Welcome to a new age of makeup. With people like you, the future of makeup is bright. The Kaleidos team. So that is the message. Come with a, it was well, oh, it was extremely well wrapped um, in bubble wrap. So that was really good. Um, it arrived and in here you can see the three palettes. So we've got the first one, the Futurism 1, the Sci-Fi Green, the Futurism 2, the... Um, Cyber Bronze, and then the Futurism 3, which is the Astro Pink. So they come in their unit cartons and um, fit lovely in, obviously, that package. So these are the three unit cartons that they come in. So you can see them there. And um, what's really nice is the unit cartons do represent the palettes within, but doesn't show them in their true glory. So, if we look at the Futurism 1 palette, this is the Sci-Fi Green. The feel of it is, um, it's like, so it's cardboard packaging, but extremely well made, and it's got a soft touch feel. And you can see there that we've got gold inlay, so there's metallic inlay in it. And it is extremely beautiful. A very strong magnet. So you can see there. Open it up. It does come with the names on a um, plastic slip. So what I will probably do, because I don't use the mirrors in palettes, so I'm going to probably just stick it to the mirror. Um, that way I can refer to the colours. And um, then we have our palette. Now this has been swatched and eye swatched and all of that good stuff. Um, but we have in this one we've got four mattes and two shimmers and um, it's a deep grungy kind of palette. This is um, something I really want to get my brushes into and play with. So we'll do um, some quick swatches. My fingers, <laughs> I'm like, my eyes hurt, my fingers hurt been swatching and playing. So the first one is radioactive. So it's just a orange brown, quite warm. Then we've got nuclear. So nuclear I'd say is like a true gold, maybe with a bit of warmth to it. Then we have glamora, which is more of a green old gold. So this is more the kind of gold I like. So it's a little bit more with a bit of a green reflect has that vintage feel to it then we have smog which is the first of our kind of grungy greens so there's smog then we've got et which is a deeper green so khaki kind of color olive so that more khaki that more olive and then the last one in this palette is Dark Side, which is a true matte black. So, there we go. So they are the um, six shades in this palette. Um, and I am going to, uh, following this will be, I'm going to eye swatch, live swatch all of these colours. So you'll see how they transfer on the eyes. Um, and they're not bad. You know, the, the mattes are very finely milled. They're very soft to the touch. There is a bit of kick up in the pan with the brushes, but not 
a ridiculous amount and I think that comes from them being so finely milled and so soft to the touch. Um, but I'm pretty happy with those colours. The next um, palette in the collection is the Futurism 2. This is the Cyber Bronze. So you can see again that the packaging has that same kind of marbled effect, galaxy style, with the inlay. It's, it's hard to put across on camera just how nice it is in real life. And the, the touch of it is just, feels lovely. Um, I feel like I've got a Pat McGrath palette. I don't own any Pat McGrath palettes because I refuse to pay the exorbitant amount of money it is in Australia. But it kind of looks like that kind of vibe, but for definitely a much more affordable price. So these are the six colours in um, the Cyber Bronze palette. So let's have a look at these ones swatched on the arm. The first one is Quantum. It is a shimmer. Here we go. There's Quantum. Quantum's kind of like a reddened bronze. Then we've got Infrared, which is our red shimmer. There we go. Then we have Plasma, which is this absolutely incredible silver. There's Plasma. They are the three shimmers in this palette. And then we go on to our three mattes. We've got Droid. There's Droid. Y2K. And our last one is Carbon. So there's Carbon. Um, so they are our six shadows. So let's see if I can get it nicely in focus for you. So they are the six shadows in this. Just curious, I'm going to um, swatch the shadow um, radioactive from the cyber, the sci-fi green palette. I just want to swatch it near Droid just to see kind of if there's a similarity there. No, definitely more of a yellow tone to that um, radioactive colour. So that's cool. Alrighty, and the last palette in the trio is the Futurism 3, which is the Astro Pink. Now, I think this is probably the prettiest outer packaging. So it's kind of blue on the back, and then you turn it over, and there's much more of those pink vibes. And the metallic is like a rose gold. Absolutely beautiful. And these are the shadows within it. So we've got... Some pretty cool colours in this one. So we've got, <clears throat> there's two what I would call straight shimmers. Then we've got a glitter black. Um, I wouldn't say it's fully shimmer. I'd say it's more of a matte with shimmer um, specks through it. So glitter specks through it. And then we've got three true mattes. So we'll get in and swatch them. So the first one is Cosmos. So this is Cosmos. So this one is the black that has the glitter flex in it. I'm not sure if that's going to pick up on camera or not. We then got Neptune. Now Neptune's quite weird. It, it certainly, it's, it swatches quite transparent, but once you build it up, it is the most incredible um, duochrome pink to blue shifting purple delight all right third one is nebula so this is like a cranberry purple pink this is our matte all right and our remaining three we've got light year now light year is a little bit like neptune it kind of comes off a bit transparent but it's got an awesome shift to it so it's got like a pink purple shift through the um, base of it. Then we've got Stardust, which is a matte. And then we have Luna, which is a, another matte. 
So Luna would be the one for me would be my true kind of like transition um, hacking shade. So they are the arm swatches of all of the um, three palettes and following on from this I'm going to sit there and do some eye swatches. Um, this look that I'm wearing is using the Astro Pink palette. Um, it will be coming up soon um, and I will be doing a few different looks with each palette and showing you kind of how versatile they are and what kind of looks I can put together. So I hope you enjoy the eye swatches and I'll see you at the end. Bye. So the first colour we are going to swatch is in the sci-fi green. So we're going to do the sci-fi green palette and we're going to just work our way down. The first colour is radioactive. So just taking this on a basic shadow brush um, and putting it on and I'll blend it out and see how we go. So this is a um, matte kind of mustard brown. So I'm just packing it onto the lid. Um, they're very soft. Um, they feel extremely smooth under the, under the finger when you swatch it. I'm just going to blend that out, that edge. And we have our radioactive. On the other eye, I'm going to do Nuclear. So Nuclear is the gold shimmer. This one here. So I'm going to apply it dry first, but I will come back and um, probably apply it with a damp brush. Just doing it dry so you can see how they apply it. Remembering my lids are old and crepey. So we've got that one, true gold. So that's with it put on. Might try it with the finger. So there we go, that is nuclear. So these are the first two colours in the sci-fi green palette. I'm so excited, I'm just, I just want to play. So let's go in with the next two colours now in the sci-fi palette. So we're going to go in with Glamora and Smog. And we will see how they apply to the eyes. So we've got Glamora. I'm just going to put it down again with a brush just so you can see how it applies with a brush and then I'll go back in with my finger. Um, I don't want to use a wet brush because then it's harder to get off my eyes and honestly between a wet brush and a um, finger both of them build up the pigment of shadow is the same, so it's just about seeing the colour. So this is Glamora, um, just patted with a brush and then I'm going to go in now with my finger and build it up. So there we go. Glamora. And now let's go in with Smog. So I must admit, I think it was the sci-fi green palette that caught my eye the most. Um, I missed out on the um, Melt Gemini palette 
and I was like, these dirty kind of greens were like, hmm, I want to give them a go. Is there a smog? Then we'll take some through the crease just to blend out the edge, see how it blends out. So you can see here it's kind of lifting off my lid as I'm blending it, but we'll see if it reapplies. Just packing back over. So there we go, we've got Glamora and Smog. Okay, we're gonna go in with the last two colours. So we've got ET and the black which is dark side. So we're going to go back in, go in with those two and see how they look. I'm going to use a um, shorter shader brush here just to, because they're dark colours, I don't want fallout fall down my eyes if there is any. And it'll just allow me to pack on those mats a little bit better. So as you can see, this is um, applying easily with a lot of pigment. We'll blend it out so it looks a bit tidier in the crease. There is ET. Let's go in with dark side. Now, when I swatched this black, it was black. So, let's see how it applies on the eyes. See if I can build up colour a little bit. And we will blend it out. Let's see how it blends up into the crease. So as it blended out, same thing happened before as before, lost a little bit of colour from my lid. So I'm just going to put some more on there. And see if it builds on each other on itself. So there we go, we've got ET and Dark Side. Okay, we're going to go in now with the second palette, which is the Cyber Bronze palette. And we'll go in with the first two shades of that. So we'll go in with Quantum and Infrared. So these top two shades. This is a very nice colour. It's a um, kind of bronze with a red pink shift to it. Very pretty. So there it is, just packed on with a brush. I'm going to go in with my finger now and um, see what we can do with that. There we go, that is Quantum. 
And now let's go in. I'm just going to clean off my brush. And we're going to go in with infrared. Now, we know how I feel about red eyeshadow, so I'm super excited for this one. one's definitely requiring a little bit more work to pack it on. This is with a dry brush too. So there it is with the brush on the eye. I'm just going to go in with my finger. Okay, so we've got quantum and infrared. We go into the next two. So we've got droid, the silver. Oh, sorry, plasma is the silver, and droid is the um, beige, mustardy brown. So let's see how we go. Droid first. So that's droid without, um, with just a dry brush. I'm just going to go in with my finger, as I've been doing with all the shimmers. Now I'm not usually a silver fan, but that is beautiful. Very nice. All right, let's go into um, droid. So there's our next two colours, we've got Plasma and Droid. We're going to go into the last two colours of the uh, Cyber Bronze palette. We've got Y2K and Carbon, so these last two. So these are both mattes. And then we'll go in with carbon, which is a dark brown. There is a bit of powder. These are such soft um, mattes. There is a bit of powder coming up in my palette, but not much. And I am using quite a densely packed short shadow brush, so it is going to agitate the pan. So let's um, blend out the edge of this one. So 
So there we go, we've got Y2K and Carbon. Okay, we're gonna go into the last palette of the collection. So this is the Futurism 3, the Astro Pink. I think the packaging of this is the most prettiest of them. There we go. So we're gonna go in, oh, don't wanna lose that. And we're gonna go in with these ones. We're gonna start with these top two shades. So this is Cosmos and Neptune. Cosmos is a um, sparkling black, shimmery black. These aren't my favorite. I kind of think when you um, blend them out, you lose all the glitter in them anyway. So we'll see what we can do. So I'll try packing it on. Um, you can see some of the glitter reflex, but I might use my finger and um, see if we can, I'm just going to blend that out because I can't handle it, um, see if we can probably pack a little bit of that black onto it and see if the, we can get that sparkle. So oh, definitely by doing this we can Get the sparkle that it offers. So that is our Cosmos. So I'm not sure if it picks up on camera the sparkle. But there it is. All right, next eye. Okay, we're going to try for Neptune. So when I swatch this, it seems to have more of a transparent. Um, base so I think it, it I'm not sure if it's designed to be a topper shade but it definitely has more of a, a um, sheer um, under color but we'll see if we can build it up so you can see there that you can um, see some of the skin of my lid popping through. Um, I hope you can see that. We'll see what happens when I put a um, pack it on with my finger. I mean you can't deny that that is beautiful. Um, it's just so I don't know, there's something about that colour that is just gorgeous. So there we go, we've got Cosmos and Neptune. Alright, we're back to try the next two colours. So we've got a matte, which is Nebula, and then we've got Lightyear. So you can see, um, you'll have to forgive uh, that Cosmos when I was removing it. Um, kind of went everywhere. But we are just swatching the colours, so while it looks like I have a black eye underneath, we can roll with it. So this is a dark, I'd say cranberry pink purple colour. go in with light year so light year seems to have the same kind of formula as Neptune in the fact that it seems to be a little bit more of a transparent base So there's light ear um, just put straight on the lid. Let's see what it looks like when I pack it on. 
So packing it on with my finger, we can definitely see that um, purple pink shift beginning to pop and definitely showing more of that metallicness. So there we go, we've got Nebula and Lightyear. Just before I add um, some concealer and stuff for the last couple of swatches, just wanted to show you that um, Nebula certainly has a lot of pigment to it. It has left a bit of a stain on the lid and I used concealer and um, setting powder underneath. So just wanted to show you that. That particularly doesn't bother me. Um, I always use an eyeshadow primer before I put makeup on, so I'm not too worried about the staining. Just wanted to make you aware. Okay, we're gonna go back in with the last two colors of the last palette. So this is Stardust and Luna. They are both mattes. So let's see how these guys go. Okay, so that's Stardust, and let's go in with our last shadow, Luna. So I don't think Luna will show up too much. It is a, um, what I would call a perfect transition color or setting color. Just a soft beige. So that is Luna. So these are the last two mats. So we're back. Um, you've seen the eye swatches. You've seen how um, saw, saw my um, eyes look towards the end. I don't know how that girl Shay XO does it. Um, if you haven't aren't following her on YouTube, you really should. She is the queen at um, live swatching colors, especially things like ColourPop and those kinds of brands. She gets them and she puts them all on her eyes and she's entertaining while she does it. Much more entertaining probably than I am. But um, I definitely have taken, I guess, um, what's the word, inspiration from her. And I really just wanted to play with these shadows when I got them. And it's late at night and I didn't want to sit there and do quite a few different looks because it's Friday night, I'm tired and I want to go to bed. Um, but I sat down and did the live swatches. I've done this first look. Um, with the Astro Pink palette and I must say I'm enjoying it. I um, It was one of my goals this year is to try more indie brands, try something a little bit different and when I saw, started seeing um, influencers talking about these three palettes I was just like yeah they've caught my eye. Um, there's something about them, something looks special about them so that's why I went ahead and grabbed them um, it ended up costing, when we put it into Australian dollars, I think it, with the conversion it was like 86 Australian dollars for the three palettes. These, yeah, $86 Australian. Definitely, I'm pleased to have that. You know, in Australia, we'd pay that around, around that for an Anastasia palette, Anastasia Benzavilla Hills palette or anything like that. So I'm pretty... Happy to have these in my collection and I'm inspired to play with them. And yeah, so I will see you in the next video where hopefully I've got some different looks using these palettes, including the one I'm wearing on my eyes now. And I will see you then. So as always, um, it'd be great if you could subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you thought of the swatches. Um, I was wearing just concealer um, set with setting powder um, between each one just to have a clear base to put the colors on so you can see the colors and um, that is it so as always remember be kind be strong and be a warrior and I'll see you later bye